What's up, Red Devil Nation? Steve Leslie, YSNLive.com, your home of the Camel Red Devils all season long. Wednesday night here at Tavern 26. Cannot thank Dan Dahl and, and Mike Sharp and the entire staff here for all they do for all of us at YSN and all they do for Camel Memorial Athletics. Wednesday night, like I said, Camel Memorial Night. We'll have the football players on a little later on as they will face LeBray on Friday night. If you can't make that game, we'll have it for you on YSN. And, and also we'll finish at home against Liberty in two weeks to close out their season. But proud to be joined, and we've had him on before, by the head volleyball coach of the Lady Red Devils, Coach Allen. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. I appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. First of all, congratulations. 17-5, um, and five, a regular season record for this program. A lot of talented people, a lot of patience, a lot of hard work. Talk about what that means to you and your coaching staff. It's just really nice because this group of girls, they started when they were freshmen. I know I keep talking sure. about that, but they bought in early on when we only had one win. They put the time in. You know, They saw our vision for the team. And they believed in what we were telling them and, and what they could succeed and, and what they could do. And we're finally putting it into fruition. And it just it's really nice to see it. It's they deserve it. No, oh, there's no question they deserve it. I can't wait. We'll have Kendall and Carla on when they obviously have a couple records that we'll talk about with them. But I have to ask you, they started with you as freshmen. When did Coach Allen start to see this kind of take? taking place to where you thought it could go when, honestly when they started uh, sure. we, we knew that we had a good group here a, a good core of freshmen and we knew if they put the time in and and started to really work that that we could be a good team and we told them that from day one and they really bought in and yeah it's a good team no doubt 17 and 5 coach 10 and 4 in the conference and it's a very good conference in volleyball prepared Tough you obviously conference. Crestview and a lot of other teams you beat Liberty in the regular season final you're going to play Liberty on Tuesday night yep. at home in the in the tournament trail. Talk about that a little bit and how excited. Number one, it has to be exciting to get a home match. Obviously, Red Devil Nation, head on down to the field house Tuesday night and check these young ladies out. They're fun to watch. They're talented and an opportunity to advance in the tournament. That has to be exciting for a home match. We're, we're really excited to have a home match. That was one of our goals at the beginning of the season. We really wanted to be able to bring that atmosphere to you know our district, sure. our home school, get our fans there, get the students there, and just really show the community what we've been working for and what the girls have been putting into it. There's one thing I noticed, Coach, a lot of support for this volleyball program. Oh, yeah. um, Close-knit, uh, a lot of people here that support them. That has to mean a lot. So my question off of that, it has to give some of your level levels in the grade school programs a lot of confidence to see these young ladies do what they do and want to someday be like them when they get up into the high school. That has to be huge for your program. Oh, yeah, absolutely huge. Our, our youth is is doing a great job. We do, again, those little kids Yeah, camp. I was just going to ask, how, how did those camps Really go? good. We had about 20 kids per That's session, awesome. kindergarten through third grade, 20, fourth grade through sixth grade, 20. That's fantastic. We're getting the girls out, playing some club as sixth graders this year, hopefully have a full team of Camel girls. Cool. That's um, good. And then our junior high teams had some success, too. They knocked off the seventh grade, knocked off champion in the first round of the play playoffs and upset wow very um, good and our eighth grade they were the seventh seed and played two seed crestview and lost in three sets but won a set and took them to three right and, and, really and well. again for them another learning experience as they come up to high school uh, with coach allen the lady red devils volleyball team they'll play tuesday night against liberty as a coach how is that you just end the regular season with them now you open up with them tuesday night in the tournament kind of helps i would say yeah, I think that double-edged sword, I think it can help. It helps with the confidence, but also we need to make sure that we're ready to go and we don't take anything for granted because sure. they're going to come ready to play. They have some solid players over there, um, definitely some talented girls that can put the ball away, and we just have to show up ready to go. We have to bring the energy, and, and we just have to prepare the right way. What are some of the things that you work on now as a volleyball coach, heading and in the regular season, now heading to the tournament? You obviously will practice for the rest of the week. What are some of the things you, you try to build off of as the season has come to an end? We do a ton of passing right now. Serve receives an area that I think we need to improve on. We started to do a little bit better during the middle of the season and then kind of faded off a little bit. We've had a lot of games, not a lot of practices. So we've really been working there to, to get the passing where it needs to be. Um, but just just having really good hard practices, high energy, you know, all in, 
you know, just just working. Is That's, this probably the longest break for you? I would say you ended yeah last night, and now you uh, How about a today's week? Wednesday, so a week is that the longest time in be? Uh, it, it By has far, to be. yep. So is that something the coach worries about, or you kind of? Get them off their feet a little bit, maybe a, a couple of days, and then get after it. Yeah, we're excited. They need the break. Last week we had three games. The week before we had four games. Um, I'm amazed so, on how fast oh. volleyball season is. Like we get all the scores in the scoreboard. It seems like when I the nights I update the scoreboard, it seems like man, they just played. Uh, it's a very compact season that goes very fast. Is that fair to say? That's how it feels for me too. <laughs> With a, a young baby at home, talk about that a little bit. I know your wife's here. She's obviously a big part of this program. Oh, yeah. Loves these girls. You could tell when you walked in. She has to be awful proud also as a, as a Red Devil. Oh, yeah. It's it's nice having our daughter Tegan there. The girls do such a good job with her. She's I'm at probably at 95% of our matches. The girls love her, and they're just such a good role model. And I we just got done talking at practice. You know, our girls do things the right way. Sure. Great people. It's just nice to have my daughter around that. Absolutely. Well, they do things the right way, no doubt. Coach, best of luck Tuesday night. Red Devil Nation, come on down to the field house. Check these young ladies out as they will entertain Liberty in the first round of the playoffs and look to get that match and move on to the districts. Coach, again, best of luck to Thank you. you. Thanks so for much. joining really us. We'll it. have uh, Kendall and Carla come on here next and talk about that before you go. Kendall, a 1,000 kills. Carla, th this is incredible. 2,000 assists. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Talk about those two and what they mean. Those are our two captains. That's that's the core of our team. Um, just great leaders rubbing off on the young players. Kendall, she needed 26 kills going into our senior night. I never thought she was going to get it on senior night. And through two sets, she only had 11 kills. So she needed 15 more to, to get to 1,000. And she just came out, five kills right off the bat. And I talked to our girls, hey, do we want Kendall to get this? And this is probably the most unselfish group I've coached. They they are really happy for their teammates and their individual accolades for their teammates. They don't – they're not jealous of each other. Sure. If somebody's first team, somebody's second team, they don't care. I mean, they really play for well, each other. That That's a testament to you and your staff. Again, Coach, congrats. Best of luck Thank Tuesday night. Much. Get another win, and hopefully we'll talk again. Thank you so much. All righty.